Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn one more new uh, topic of our medicinal chemistry unit. So we have seen some of the other sessions where we discuss antitubercular agents, antiviral agents, then antifungal agents also we discuss. So all of these agents belongs to basically somehow kind of this, let us say, uh, chemotherapeutic agents or which are acting against bacteria, viruses, fungus. Today we are going to learn some new classes of agents, some new drugs which can act against helminths. Helminths are no more but they are somehow kinds of the worms or nematodes or some helminth which we used to call in Gujarati ma kai hai toh krumi ye pet ma jay gani ho kata apna dukha ho jay toh apna kai hai krumi vati kya chai these krumis these worms are nothing but they are these kinds of helminths so that we are going to learn today that what are the several types of these helminths and what are the chemical classification of all of these helminthic agents, anti-helminthic agents. So they are generally termed as anthelminthic agents. We dissect this terminology. So it is anti-helminth agents. Just like fungus, anti-fungal agents. This is also that anti-helminth agents. Helminth means worms. They may be some, depending upon their shapes, these worms are classified, whether they are circular, road shape, etc, etc. And they are termed as enthelmintic agents. So, coming to the introduction, helminth means worms. And helminthiasis is a kind of infections caused by parasitic worms, which are not majorly parasites and they are useful. Uh, means they can cause the parasitic infections. So they don't, parasite means they don't have their cellular machinery to survive. But they are dependent upon somebody else to survive. For example, virus, they don't have their cellular machinery to multiplicate, but they are using human cell machinery to multiplicate. That is called this parasites. Worms, helminths are also a type of parasites. Their survival, they are dependent upon somebody else. They may use, as a host, they may use our cellular machinery to multiplicate, to survive, and to meet the demands of their daily life, such as food, water, etc., etc. These worms can cause infections. What can be the several types of infections? If you search on Google, then you will come across the several infections caused by this. One of the infection caused by this helminth, that is elephantiasis. In Gujarati, we have said that Hathi Pabo, elephantiasis, phileriasis. That is because of this helminth. In which the patient will develop the lag just like elephant. So that is caused by this one chorea bruf, uh, bruf tea, which is the parasite which is causing this elephantiasis. Okay, so also called as phileriasis. So this helminth. And enthelminthics are the drugs which are used to treat such kind of parasitic infections due to worms. So enthelminthics are the these types of the agents which generally act through two mechanisms: vermicide and vermifuge. Vermicide means to kill the parasitical intestinal infection, and vermifuge means which are used to destroy or to remove the worms from intestine. That way, there are two types of 
this enthalmentic agents, whether they can kill or they can remove through the excretory material from the body. Helminths are of three types, just like I told you, it is of nematode, it may be uh, depending upon their shape, tap forms, or it may be flukes. So these are somehow kinds of something, uh, this helminths have been shown over here. So nematodes, as the name suggests, they are having round ones. Nematode means they are having circular shape. That's why they are this Ascariasis, Phylariasis, hookworms, bean worms, and wheat worms are this type of you know, worms. Just like they, you might have seen somewhere in when you go to toilets or wash it, washrooms, you might have seen certain worms. If it is not well clean, these are not, no more than the worms. Prumi. Their major survival is in our intestine that they develop. And apne pet madhuk tu and doctor pass hai jee and to ke kahi nahi thi tu. Krumi vadi kya jee apne ke dawa ap shoot ke kiki kahi jee. So these are those elements. Cystodes, which are having tap forms, having the shape like taps. Okay, so they may be from this inia solium. Or uh, it can cause cystocerosis, hydatide, etc., etc. So we don't want to go into that, but generally they are having tap-like shape. Teen worms have been also there, but they belong to nematode example. Ascariasis again nematodes. Liver flock is there, but that is trematodes having flock shapes, so, and their shape is like this, and egg will look like this. Jarediasis, Jaredia. So that is also kind of this elements. And lung flukes and cystoma. These are types of all the elements. Either they are nematodes or they are cystodes or they are flukes. Then now let us come to the major medicinal chemistry aspects where we the people are going to learn the concepts of this uh, enthalmentic agents through the classification of several of these enthalmentic agents okay so here a classification of all these enthalmentic agent is given where classification is based upon their chemical structures what is their chemical structure based upon this this uh, enthalmentics are classified. They belongs to heterocyclic benzimidazole. Benzimidazole is a 6,5 membered heterocyclic compound. You might, I'm not sure, but you people might have learned the synthesis of benzimidazole by the treatment of orthophenylene diamine with acetic acid or formic acid. So we can construct benzimidazole. So that is and heterocyclic scaffold, bicyclic heterocyclic scaffold having two nitrogens. Okay, so albindazole, mebindazole, flubindazole, cyclobindazole, thiabindazole. So these are all azoles belongs to this benzimidazole. Then another class of compound that is quinoline and isoquinoline. Okay, so they also belongs to this kind of chemical structures. Examples are oxaminopene and prasicantel. So they belong to another class of quinoline or isoquinoline. Quinoline is nothing but you know the structure of naphthalene. Two cyclic benzene rings are connected with each other. So it is termed as naphthalene. So one as a naphthalene is called quinoline. Okay, so that is quinoline, is the IPAC name of this compound. And one as an ethylene is also one of the correct name. Then isoquinoline, so that is two as an ethylene. There is no more difference. Up benzene ke door in connect kar do, please pehle aur dusre number ke carbon pe nitrogen rakh do. So that is called 
isoquinoid. Don't worry, we will also visit the structures of these drugs where you will see the uh, structures of this quinoline and isoquinoline. Piprazine derivative, where piprazine is nothing but that is, you know, the structure of cyclohexane. Cyclohexane means a six membered cyclic ring. And put nitrogen at first and fourth position. So that is called 1 4 di as a cyclohexane. Usko bolte hai piprazine. Usme do nitrogen hote hai first and fourth position. We will see the structure on this particular slides as well. Pyrimidine. So this time again the simpler. Let us make the pyrimidine. That is nothing but 1 3. Die as a benzene. Benzene ka structure draw karo. First or jo third position hai vaha pe nitrogen draw karo. Do nitrogen. So that is called pyrimidine. It is pyrimid. So mid means 1, 3. Die as a. And the pyrimidines are generally pyrantel, palmoate and oxantel. Pyrantel is the name of a drug containing this um, piprazine. Palmoate is a palmoic acid. So it is basically ester salt, ester prodrug, palmoic acid, seven hour, and that is called vinyl. Amides are nothing. Another class of the compound is called amides. They are basically they belong to carboxamides. And here that is niclosamide so niclosamide is also another class of this enthalmintic agent niclosamide so we will see uske structure mein nitro hai uske structure mein chlorine hai uske structure mein carboxamide so that we will visit in this okay the natural product that is ivermectin so that is also this kind of another and i mean to say uh, natural product, ivermectin, that is enthalmintic agent. Organophosphorus. You know, some of the organophosphorus are used as acetylcholine esterase inhibitors in some of the, uh, this war gas they have used, they can have been used. So, man, top, septabium, sarin, so they are the war gas. And they are acting against this acetylcholine esterase enzyme. So organophosphorus are also known for acting against organ of this acetylcholine esterase. But here, this drug, matrifonate, that is kind of this another substance having enthalmintic activity. Imidazole, that is basically imidazole, which is clubbed with thiazole. So five, both are five membered ring, but connected with each other, having one two nitrogen or sulfur B. That is called imidazo thiazole. Then we have also this nitro derivative, niridazole. So these are all enzymes. But nit most of, most of the time it has been sh uh, shown that nitro is electron withdrawing. So when people have reported in the literature that the drugs which are possessing nitro groups they can undergo chelation with the dna which is nothing but deoxy ribonucleic acid and they can make the adduct switch dna and can cause myth hemoglobinemia a kind of anemic condition that is called with hemoglobinemia. So whatever the drug possesses nitro groups, they can cause this kind of toxicity, which is sometimes called as nitro aryl derived toxicity. Okay, so with hemoglobinemia is the side effect of this kind of the agents. So this is all their classification of enthalmintic agents. The agents which are used against the infections caused by this helminth.
simply you search on google what are the kinds of infections caused by caused by this helminths what are the drugs which can be used so you will come to know that these are the drugs which can be used against helminths so friends after this let us visit all the structures one by one to see their chemical structures how they look what can be their major or minor kind of side effects so that we are going to learn in our coming discussion okay so here the first kind of this benzimidazole which are basically known for inhibiting the cell division at metaphase at metaphase so the cell cycle of nematodes is consist of so many phases m phase g phase g1 phase s phase do you know all these uh, cell cycles and phases i hope so so during some of the phases of this these drugs are going to interact and they will be inhibiting this compound basically some of these drugs also inhibit the tubulin polymerization of helminths this tubulin is a protein prep found in helmin so that way this enthelmintic pens imidazoles are acting against helmin and demonstrating their enthelmintic action okay so pens imidazole they are nothing but albendazole mebendazole flubendazole cyclobendazole dribendazole and fenbendazole etc so the majorly used this benzimidazoles are albendazole mebendazole abhi ek yahan pe nahi hai that is thiabendazole that is also used as benzimidazole enthelmintic agent so albendazole this is a widely used enthelmintic agent is having its enthelmintic activity and as i discussed with you it is in, uh, inhibiting beta tubulin and thus it inhibit the polymerization this tubulin is a one kind of uh, uh, i mean to say a protein which is involved in formation of uh, key components during cell division that is microtubules so okay. microtubule formations are essential for division of one cell into two cells okay and thus it will inhibit the multiplication of these helminths especially in nematodes sometime it can cause glucose uptake this will be impaired glycogen depletion as well as atp stores will be also then structure activity relationship that is also one of the key component where variation in the c5 that is uh, is put this basically c5 means this position is found where there is low toxicity replacement of this nhc double o ch3 by aromatic ring that will prevent the metabolic inactivation so that is essential that is nhc double o ch3 it is useful in treatment of these kinds of worms round worms pin worms hook worms and this uh, alternative to treatment of some file areas not only that this albendazole is prescribed as a prophylactic agent for file file areas which is nothing but also called elephantiasis in a j elephantiasis na jo file areas is che hook worms or kind of worms they are generally developed in some water which is stored in certain nearby us so yaha apne varshad nu pani bhare ne pachi bharao thai gaya ne ma worms no growth thato what the majorly this uh, people from municipal corporation they will come and will knock our door and will ask us to keep the things neat and clean around our uh the place of our dwelling our residence and 
they will give certain medicaments which are nothing but this albendazole and one more substance that we will also visit that is diethylcarbamazepine so this DEC diethylcarbamazepine which is a piprazine class of drug so the, and albendazole they are used as elef, uh, pro, prophylactic for elephantiasis atipago no thai ena mate ni dawa che prophylactic means to prevent yourself from particular disease just like chloroquine was prescribed in the initial beginning of covid 19 this chloroquine was given chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine these anti malarial drugs were given to the patients even to the health workers to prevent the occurrence of covid 19 but how much this is really valid drug so that time has shown and you might be aware about this i'm not going to touch that philosophy of hydroxychloroquine and adverse drug reaction that since is a prophylactic prophylactic drug so although it is well tolerated but some gi side effects will be there okay so they are no more sometime it can cause jaundice or alopecia this is a dose which is there 400 milligram per kg per dose. This is the synthesis, synthetic scheme for synthesis of albindazole. Once we have 3 mercaptophene acetamide, which can be reacted with this substance and followed by nitration, then the hydrolysis of particular amine to make orthophenylene diamine, and then cyclization with this pre functionalized. Uh, this group, uh, ester group is already there, NHCWOCH3, and it will undergo cyclization to make this albendazole. Okay. Mabindazole, this is another class of benzimidazole compound. This uh, benzimidazole derivative, which is over here, as we know, that NHCWOCH3 is essential. And if we remove it with the phenyl group, it will show some metabolic inactivation. And that will become inactive but at this position now here we have benzoyl group previously in albendazole it was something sulfur uh, acyclic chain containing sulfur so here it is benzoyl group okay mabendazole is this kind of synthetic group having enthalmintic activity and a low incidence of adverse effects and this is a treatment where we are weak worms, pin worms, hook worms, round worms, etc. etc. are there. If then same way it is also acting, beta 2 will inhibit, will inhibit the beta poly uh, its polymerization through the action against this parasite. And adverse drug reaction as well as dose of the same have been provided here. We don't want to go into the synthesis. Another drug which I told you that mabendazole, albendazole, and thiabendazole. So thiabendazole is also a kind of imidazole class of drug. Six five membered bicyclic component, bicyclic ring, having two cyclic rings in each structure. And second position of this benz imidazole is connected with fourth, fifth position of thiazole. So, uh, sorry, fourth position of thiazole. Sulfur is basically first position, second is this one, third is nitrogen, and fourth position will be here. So, second position of benz imidazole is connected with fourth position of thiazole. So, this way, this third bindazole is the immediate structure. And similarly, it is also going to inhibit the microtropial synthesis. And generally, it is used in round worm as well as pin worms and the infections. It can cause certain GI upsets or GI disturbance. And quinoline and isoquinoline. So, quinoline, I, although there is structure of a drug, is not there, but kindly pardon me for the same. Oxamoniquine is a kind of the semi synthetic tetrahydroquinoline. You know, tetracyclines, which are tetrahydros uh, or some kind of tetracyclic compounds. Similarly, this tetrahydroquinoline, 
where six five member one uh, six six member bicyclic ring and one is a naphthalene but one two three four positions are hydrogenated just like it may be here i'm not sure if mechanism is not there so sorry for the same but yes this is not structure is not available as of now but it is a semi synthetic tetrahydroquinoline and binding with the dna and it can show its enthalpy the most critical and vital entity present in this drug is the 6 hydroxy methyl moiety which is essential to demonstrate enthalpy action okay so this is for that gazi candle so this is a piprazine on class of a drug which possesses piprazine nucleus over here and that is also showing some enthalpic activity by inhibition of this ca plus 2 in fractions okay and it shows this activity against tap worms neuro cystorosis uh, and cystomes and also it is useful for all these kinds of Looks except liver flux. Those prazi quantel may not be that much useful for these kinds of drugs. Yeah, so here is a synthetic scheme for this, this drug as well. One more drug that is piprazine citrate. So as I have discussed, with you, piprazine is nothing but you draw the structure of cyclohexane at birth and at one and fourth position, first and fourth position, draw the two nitrogens. So you will be able to see the structure of this piprazine. That way, this piprazine citrate is known for the same. And piprazine citrate is a GABA receptor agonist, which binds selectively to the receptors, and that can cause hyperpolarization. Okay, so it is using also these kinds of roundworms and pinworms. The synthesis of this drug is not that much difficult. Once we have some piprazine, that is also commercially available. You know, ne to dichloroethylene or ethylene diamine se banaya hai. But this is also commercially available, a white crystal compound, piprazine. Just we have to make a salt of this with citric acid. So, di, uh, this two nitrogens of piprazines will be uh, protonated with the help of citric acid, and we'll have piprazine cycle. Dihydrocarbamazine. carbamazine so just i told you uh, it is used in treatment of filariasis filariasis means hathi pogo so this albendazole and dihydrocarbamazine carbamazepine these are the drugs which are given by municipal corporation uh, to the patients as a prophylactic not only for prophylactic but also they are used as a kind of medicine also for the treatment of filariasis Okay, so mechanism of action is that they will block cyclooxygenase pathway, uh, Cox pathway. You know what is called Cox locks, which are essential in the synthesis of prostaglandins, prostacyclines. So, and that way, these drugs. And <clears throat> pyrantel palmoid. So pyrantel is a drug which is having uh, five-membered ring, which is. Uh, sulfury uh, containing has all containing this is called actually thiophene ring so thiophene is present in pyrantel uh, basically being a chemist i will be more discussing about the structure than uh, some, some mechanism of action side effects adverse drug reaction or dose etc but although these essential component essential uh, information for this medicine is there on the slides also <clears throat> Okay, so this is basically a thiophene ring. Second position of thiophene is connected with this ethylene ring, and that is connected with this one four five six tetrahydrobutyl. Whenever there is IUPAC name, so and when it is said the tetrahydro, so that means uh, these positions are having hydrogens. Tetrahydro means four hydrogens are connected. First, second, uh, first. Second, first, second, third, and fourth. So it is tetrahydroquinoline. Just like tetrahydroquinoline. So quinoline ke four hydrogen pe, four carbon pe hydrogen attach. Call this hydro. So hydro is a term. Hydro is a prefix to indicate the saturation in the structure. 
Okay, so this is a compound which is having a carbon-carbon double bond and olefinic bond. Although it may in this way it is not mentioned whether it is Z or E, but may always uh, being a pyrantel. So maybe it is um, uh, Z, E class E means both the hydrogens are will be on opposite side to claim the uh, geometry of the molecule. Okay. So this is a drug which is uh, acting as a neuromuscular blocker and neuromuscular junction blocker in any kind of parasites. Okay, so that way it will show spastic paralysis of the bone. Viclosamide, just I told you that it is inhibiting the oxidative phosphorylation in mitochondria, but I also discussed with you it possesses the nitro group, it is here, chloro, so it is here also, as well as it is amide. So it is kind of anilide from this uh, nitrophenyl ring and carboxamide, uh, we can call benzamide from this uh, phenyl ring. Okay, so both anilide as well as phenyl features, benzamide features are present in this glucosamide. Okay, and this is a dose that some adverse reaction is given and that is inhibiting the aromatic generation. Ivermectin, so that is a basically a natural product, although structure of the cell is here. So you can see it possesses a disaccharide ring as well as a benzofuran molecule. So that is a natural product. And structure activity relationship of this is there on the slide. That and I will not go into the depth of this, but generally I wish to discuss with you that natural products are the molecules which are obtained from uh, naturally occurring substances. Maybe it is a plant or some other parts of this. So ivermectin is this type of natural product, which is having this enthalmintic activity, and that is used also currently also investigated for the treatment of COVID-19. This uh, ivermectin. So um, COVID-19 treatment with ivermectin can be a drug that is also investigated. So, in for your information. Being a chem medicinal chemistry, I would like to share with you. COVID-19 is not a uh, COVID-19 is a new disease condition. If you refer to the newspapers, etc., you might have heard about some new disease conditions, some which are causing some due to some mycosis. So they, if you refer to today's newspaper, whether Sunday or Gujarat Samachar or any other local newspaper, you will find this that because of it uh, and the, it is there and which can cause the development of fungus into the uh, whether in our mucus system whether because of respiratory or nose or etc and it can cause death uh, some new mutant of covid 19 has also came in britain so because of that it, this uh, uh, there was a recession, recession also in the share market so Sensex Martlan that is a headline for today in some of the newspaper. So why it is though? Because and people and so many more than 20 to 15 countries, 15 to 20 countries have uh, blocked the flights which are coming from United Kingdom to their, to their country. So India has also blocked some of the flights for a certain period because of the uh, development of these kinds of or identification of uh, this new mutant of COVID-19. And that can cause uh, really re resistance as well. Now, why? Let me tell you. You know very well what is called tuberculosis. Robert Koch was the first person who discovered my, this mycobacterium tuberculosis and has been awarded Nobel Prize in the year 1955. Although he might have discovered in 19th century during 1870s or 1880s. So during that time, Robert Koch might have discovered this. But after his death, Nobel Prize was given because he was the first person to identify that tuberculosis is because of this mycobacteria, name as mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay. <clears throat> but still, after 18th century, 19th century, 20th century, as well as in 21st century, this 
tuberculosis is still there. And not only tuberculosis, it's not simple that we can treat using medicines. Now, multi drug resistance tuberculosis, extensively drug resistance tuberculosis, and total drug resistant tuberculosis are developed. Why? Because of the mutation in the existing strain. So, COVID 19 causes SARS CoV 2, severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, which mutant is very important. Basically, people have blocked this. I will not try to make you people uh, having a fear, but just I am creating the awareness. You people, because being a pharmacist, you will be first person who will whom will be contacted by your family members. Then, then you have to educate themselves for this. They say, "Aapki doom tha, theek hai? Doom mein bhi bahut saare sequels aane. Doom one, two, three, four." So, Doom 1 se jab Doom 2 movie aata hai, to us Doom 1 se aur superior hota hai. Malab inferior nahi hota hai. That is all in good quality. Usse bhi zyada popular aur zyada kamai karta hai Bollywood mein. Uske baad Doom 3 aata hai. Dawn se Dawn 1, Dawn 2, Dawn se Dawn 2 or Return of the Dawn whatsoever. Aise jab sequel bandhi hai na kisi bhi movies ki. Is Agni Pad ki movie ke uski sequel bani to wo usse bhi zyada aage popular hui. So that way also, the mutation be kisi bhi virus ka hota hai, kisi bhi pathogen ka hota hai, kisi bhi substance, kisi bhi microorganism ka hota hai, to usse jo naya mutant banta hai na, wo usse bhi zyada strong hota hai. TB ka example isi liye maine aapko diya. This coronavirus disease ka mutant ka example isi liye maine aapko diya. So that you can understand that because of this mutation, it is then it becomes difficult to Treat COVID-19 coronavirus disease. Okay, so here why I have gone for this because of the or us time pe hamare paas koi nahi medicine automatically market mein nahi aati. Us time pe jo existing medicine hai, usse hi kam hume chalana padta hai. Ki ha, is time pe Tamiflu de do, Aseltamivir de do, Remdesivir de do. Or koi or naya substance lake de do, ya fi TB mein jo use hota hai, usko de do, malaria mein jo use hota hai, usko de do, or check karo ki patient ke symptoms control mein aate hai. If they, we can control the symptoms, it is a good drug. If we cannot control the symptoms of this disease, then let us opt for another drug, which is currently used for some other disease. So these all things are called as repurposing of medicines. पुनः उपयोग करो ये कहीं भी जाए मैं टीवी में यूज़ करती हूँ ना अपने कोविड में यूज़ करिए ये कहीं का एंटी एचआईवी एड्स में यूज़ करती हूँ ना अपने कोविड में यूज़ करिए सो डेट इस कॉल रीपर्पसिंग ऑफ मेडिसिंस रीपर्पसिंग ऑफ ड्रग्स दिस इज़ मोर पॉपुलर व्हाई बिकॉज़ वी नो दैट दि� Pharmacokinetic profile, pharmacodynamic profile, safety profile, etc. etc. Some metabolic studies also. This has been already studied for these compounds, and we could come to know they are safe. It can be given to the patient and they are not toxic. Although the toxicity may be observed in some of the patients, adverse drug reactions. But we know about this, that's why they can be used. That is danger, that is in risk. But that is called repurposing. So ivermectin is a, this kind of drug which is currently investigated for COVID-19 patient. And that is blocking this GABA receptor of certain parasites. Ivomizole. So this is basically a kind of imidazole thiazole class of compound, where imidazole ring is connected with this sulfur and it is having a chiral center, right? A carbon which is connected with four different substitutions is called as chiral center. And chiral center is having it can rotate the substance having chiral center can rotate the plane of polarized light either to the left side or right side. So this levomycole is this kind of a compound having this structure. Or it's my chiral center and now we have it. I'm not sure whether it is R or S. We can calculate that is also depending upon this uh, CIP model. 
Kahan, which was given by Kahan, Ilgold, and Prelog. So that we can also calculate for this. The mechanism of action of this compound is it will expel these worms from the intestine. And that we can cause the death of this or can help us to protect us. That's why it is uh, this drug class of the drug is imidazole. Then these are the two drugs, matrifornate, which is organophosphorus compounds. So you know what are the organophosphorus. As the name suggests, organo, so they contain carbon. Phosphorus means they contain phosphorus. That's why they are called as organophosphorus compounds. Nidazole is this kind of enthalmic agent, which is also possessing nitro group here it is, and that is possessing this imidazole non in its structure. Okay, so these are the mic uh, some of the other ways that it is shown what can be different different uh, mode of action of certain drugs. Albindazole, so where it is acting, it is acting on tubuli formation, ivermectin, so it is blocking the calcium channel, pyrel that is causing paralysis and cell death. Although mebindazole can cause the depletion of glucose and use of the glucose by the cells. Praziquantel, which will decrease the membrane permeability. So, this way, the mechanism of action on cellular organelles of some of the helmines has been shown. These are the references for today, whatever we covered for our session. So, with this, we shall stop from here onwards. So, this was for the discussion of our anti helminth or what is called enthalmintic agents. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you so much.